Once upon a time, in a large forest, there lived a woodchopper, his wife and their two children, Hansel and Gretel. It was a beautiful forest full of trees, flowers, butterflies, and streams. Matter of fact, there was just one thing missing. Food! I must have food! Food? Food isn't everything, dear. No, but it's something. But we have the trees, the flowers, the butterflies, the streams. What more could a body want? A square meal, that's what. Okay, spoil sport. Now, you might think that in a forest as big as this one, the woodchopper would be able to bring back some game for the table. But a curious thing happened to him when he went out. He just couldn't pass a tree without chopping it down. Oh, and after all, a woodchopper is to chop wood. So, each night the woodchopper would come home with lots of logs, but no food. And what good are logs? You can't eat them. Who says? Mmm, yummy. Anyone for roast leg of log? I think we better split and get some food, Hansel. Yeah, looks like Mom's a little kooky. Kooky? I wish I had a kooky. So, taking a few precious grains of parched corn, the children set out for the forest. Hours later, Gretel began to worry. When we found food, how do we find our way back? Easy. Remember those grains of parched corn? Well, I've been leaving them as a trail so we can find our way home. Some neat plan, huh? That plan is for the birds. And so it was. The birds had eaten all the corn. Hopelessly lost, the children wandered about until Hansel suddenly bumped into something. Something that wasn't a tree. Watch your step, stupid. You bumped right into that gingerbread house. Gingerbread house? Oh, isn't it cunning? Cunning? It looks good enough to eat. Have a piece of shutter. I'm more of a shingle and doorman myself. And in a few minutes, Hansel and Gretel had eaten a big hole in the little house. Then, suddenly... Nibble, nibble like a mouse. Who is nibbling at my house? Huh, there's always a catch. You're a wicked witch, aren't you? Well, yes. And you got all kinds of magic powers, true? Well, no. You can't breathe fire and smoke? <laughs> nope. I just get dizzy. You can't summon up demons? I don't know. Hey, you demons! You got no magic powers at all? Well, there is one thing I'm pretty good at. Turning children into aardvarks. Yeah, at that you're pretty good. But I don't really care much for aardvarks. Then why do you keep changing children into them? Because I care even less for children. Besides, I have the witch's tradition to uphold. Isn't there something you'd rather do? Oh, sure. I'd like to know how to ride a broomstick. Broom, boy. But what's the use? I'll never get off the ground. If I show you how to ride a broomstick, will you change Hansel back again? Of course, of course. But you aren't even a witch. Oh, come now. There's a little bit of the witch in all of us girls. Give me the broom. Now, you take this broom. Yeah, yeah. And you twirl it all around. Yeah, yeah. Now you put it on the ground. Oh, yeah. And you sit right down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you tell that broom. Now the boom, boom, boom. Fly around the room. Da, 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 da. And sure enough, Gretel began to fly. Now me, now me! But unfortunately, the witch hadn't asked how to turn the broom off. So, once she started it, she had to keep on going. And in a little while, she was in orbit around the Earth, where she remained to this day. But she did keep her word, for as soon as she had gone, Hansel turned back into himself. And so did Oddvox all over the world. In fact, <laughs> Oddvox might have become extinct if it weren't for the fact that some Oddvox decided that they'd be happier <laughs> remaining Oddvox. At any rate, Hansel and Gretel packed up the rest of the witch's house and started off. Of course, since they were in a magic forest, they soon came upon a huge talking duck. Oh, duck, uh, would you tell us the way back to our cottage? Je ne comprends pas. Yes, unfortunately, this was a French talking duck. But he indicated that the children were to get on his back. And down the river they went. After a long while, the duck said, Et voilà, nous avons arrivé. <laughs> Which is uh, French for end of the line. Oh, joy! Home again! For there, sitting on a log, was their father. Not with his axe, but with a musket. Father, why aren't you chopping down trees? Well, Gretel, I finally decided that all that glitters is not trees. You can't buy happiness with trees. Besides, I've chopped them all down. Now it's hunting. Hunting is the only thing. So, from that day on, Hansel and Gretel had plenty of food. And their mother never went hungry again. You know, sometimes I wish he'd stuck to his wood chopping. 
Thank <laughs> you.